of it's good. Some of Not it all is. Of it was good. Yeah. Um, and welcome to Geeks with Kids. It's been a couple weeks since we've actually been on here. Um, I had Fan Expo, and that was exhausting. And uh, well, we are bi-weekly yeah. podcast, yeah. so we're. But I think we missed the last weeks. bi-weekly. I don't even remember. Yeah, but if you just no. miss one, then that's still four uh, weeks. That's a month. Yeah, it's fair. Fair. But we're back. And you, and technically, you did the last two back-to-back weeks. So yeah, that's fair. Anyway, hi Dave. Hi Marcus. <laughs> hi Brent. <laughs> Uh, I'm Eric, and we are here. We're actually just, it's the end of summer, and I just want to know what these guys are liking. So this episode is just going to be a giant what's good episode, and I think it's it's a nice way to, to relax and chill out and, you know, just end the summer months. There's going to be some weird weeks coming up. We have Spider-Man coming out soon, and then I'm in a show in October, so I don't know what we're going to do during that. I'm going to be in rehearsals for the next two months, like massive rehearsals but that's okay because i'm getting paid for that show so yeah um yeah um yeah do you want to just jump into what's good or do we want to talk about the flash we were just talking about it all <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's just talk about it so that we can we can get it out of the way and then we can move on to the better things yeah that's fair <clears throat> you go you oh i, I saw it i saw it yeah, in movie i haven't watched it yet so i i don't even know if i okay was. yeah and, and like I mean, there was there was stuff I liked the idea, and I mean I loved you know the idea that this is basically Flashpoint becoming a movie almost, like it was kind of cool, it was kind of a fun idea, and of course some great cameos, um, some like great little you know spots that came in there, but at the same time, blaringly like just in our face, you know we are not going to pay Henry Cavill to come in and show up as Superman, so let's have this horrible CG version of him doing a bunch of things, and it looked. Awful. Oh yeah, like yeah. that was just uh, it like was garbage. It was part just of, part of me was trying to be like, can I suspend my disbelief in this um, time bowl just because you know? But it was just it was too much. It was too rubbery. I just couldn't. Yeah, I, I tried. I yeah. tried so much. I tried. Um, that being said, I liked seeing Nick Cage as a uh, Superman. I thought that was fun. Pretty funny. With that the, that was really funny. I mean, like the, all of those like little because there was a bunch of those kind of things of like let's you know Christopher Reed like like you know like all those kind of things like they just did these little snippets from throughout time and different characters. Like that was really cool. Um, but I mean, I, essentially that's the only thing I liked from the movie was all those like little fun cameo bits. You know what's crazy? You do a movie that's centered around the murder of Barry's mother, and you never talk about the murderer. Yeah. Well, was it was her name? Was her name Martha? Because if it wasn't, there's no point mentioning her. I, <laughs> I mean, she was a much more endearing mother than any other mother we'd seen in but the DC this universe. Is, this is also why I, I like I like the CW Flash better because yeah. like that whole thing was like they delve they delve into the whole uh, um, what's his name uh, Reverse Flash of the whole thing. Like, yeah. like you know, they kind of got into all of that. Whereas this movie is like. Uh, no, let's not talk about anything. And let's just we'll save it for the sequel. The We're gonna have a sequel, right, guys? Yeah. Oh yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> no, no, not so much. Ezra's got his shit together by now, right, guys? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, apparently the Blue Beetle's good. I haven't seen it, so um, it's just Ant Man. Yeah, but I, I like Miguel. No, he's the Beetle. But he's Beetle plus Moon Knight. Yeah, he's I Beetle guess. Man. It- yeah, kind of. Someone did the side by side. You know how like you can just de- described uh, Harry Potter as a New Hope. Yeah. Well, Blue Beetle is also Ant Man, in that like the villain and their motivation is the same. It's an ant themed superhero. They discover this thing. There's a heist. It's yeah. It's There's like, a heist. I yeah. did not know. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I want to see it. But I mean, like. I, I'm. Pr- I feel like a, a lot of just general action movies could probably be described the same way. Yeah, in most fair. cases, right? So yeah. I mean, you know, when we're going into the comic book movies, like like there's going to be a lot of rehashing of a lot of same storylines and ideas yeah. that's going to just keep popping up if we continue down the line of nothing but comic book movies. So that's fair. Yeah. Um. Let's get so, into let, yeah yeah let, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get into, let's get into good, the what's like, good thing. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should be first. Well, uh, mine was going to be the Flash, but now. Oh, damn it! Um, <laughs> you know what? I'll, really? I'll, <laughs> I'll go first because this, um, I, I've been talking about this uh, on the D and D podcast. So I think we talked about the last time we um, we did a show. But um, Baldur's Gate three has 
probably been the game I've been playing the last couple of weeks. And I both love and hate this game at the same time. Um, there's, there's, I, I, I think it was Dave who's, I, w- I would talk about something with Dave and he's like, well, you know, you could just click on it and move things. I was like, fucking hell. There's no tutorial in this game, which is very frustrating. But I like, I like the story. I think it's well acted and stuff. There's, there's my, my one friend, um, Matt Capocci, he's, um, he's an editor on Strange New Worlds. He, he's been playing it on his stream and I've been jumping on and he's like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I was like, well, you, you can, you can throw things at people and you can do all this. He's like, what, when did, when did, when were we supposed to learn about this? I was like, I don't think you ever learned about it in this game. <laughs> I don't think so. But he's like, but you know, it's his first exposure to D and D as well. So he's sort of enjoying it that way. And like, it's, it, I like it. I'm addicted to it to a point where I was like, do I play it on my Steam Deck as well? But then I tried it and I was like, I don't like these controllers. I don't like controllers. I like the mouse. I like the feel of it. But doesn't it default to like, because Baldur's Gate 3 has um, built in controller support? Yeah. Because it's launching on PlayStation 5 in two days? It's already out. The early access is out. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I think it, the, the full release is on the 5th. So maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, you either need to know D and D Fifth Edition specifically, even though it's not exactly Fifth Edition; it's different. Or you need to know Larian games really well to know how to play BG three. And if you know both those things, uh, like I do, it's still a real fucking bitch. Uh, to, <laughs> because there isn't. Yeah, there's like there's nothing that's like, hey, if you want to throw things, maybe just press X, <laughs> and then it'll bring up the throw thing menu, and you're like, oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, you want to jump? Just hit Z. That'll make your life easier. I didn't know you oh, jump. you want to sneak? <laughs> you can just hit C, C to sneak. I knew that one. Except if you're a rogue and you want to sneak as a bonus action, don't hit C because then you're going to use your action to sneak and you're not going to be able to att- like all these stupid oh, things God. that oh, are just like that with there's no hotkey. And oh, if you want your whole team to sneak, better hit Shift, shift C. C. Otherwise, you're going to sneak and then your team's going to walk up and not be sneaking because oh, that this. makes like there's just so many oh, things. God. I have so I, many I found out, oh, nightmare. Like, Fuck this. I found out about the really group <laughs> sneak because I was trying to kill a giant spider in uh, uh-huh. somewhere. And I know that spider. Yes, yes, <laughs> you do. And yeah. um. And then uh, only Asterion snuck, and everyone else was like, fucking hell, let's go fight the spider. And I was like, god yeah. damn it. Good thing I, I saved Scum <laughs> a shit ton in this game. I think you have to. I think you kind of... We are playing. We just started a multiplayer game where we're playing like Evil Dragonborn. Um, and we're trying not to save Scum. And immediately, my friends have already made so many mistakes. And I'm like, we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to have to... We're going to have to kill all these people now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna. I I start off as a bard, but I feel like I'm gonna go with a monk next time. Monk's really good. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, don't play a fighter actually, which is weird because fighters are really good in normal five e, but they're kind of garbage and like barbarians and game. stuff. And barbar bar, no fu- fu- barbarians are great. Okay, just in, straight in, up fighters in Baldur's Gate three. But as a regular fighter, battle master is you could like Eldritch Knight's probably not great. Battle master's okay. Battle master's one of the strongest classes in regular five e. But it's kind of bad in this game when you can just be like, oh, I'm a, like I ro- I'm a rogue. I just slit throats all yep. day, and I don't even have fights. Or I just send in barbarian. A barbarian just kills everyone. My friend has been playing as a paladin. He's not having a blast as the paladin. the most popular class mm-hmm. for five e because people who know five e know there's it has an alpha strike. Uh, so if you crit, you go. I'm going to use my smites, and then you just roll a ton of dice and you kill whatever. But it's also not very good. Other than that. Hmm. That's that's the problem. People, it's very shallow. Fifth edition is very shallow, hmm. um, which is why I like playing a rogue because I can just yeah. Murder. I was so close to I. That was what I was in between. I was like, do I play as a bard or a rogue? I was like, I like buffing people and I like having my little loot. Um, so mm-hmm. bard has a lot of really <laughs> unique dialogue. Like for you, bard is probably great because it's got a lot of really unique dialogue. I love and the even- persuasion and stuff. Yeah. And bards are great because they've got so many skills and they can fight and they can cast spells. Like, they can do everything, so... Yeah, and there's yeah. no bard companion in the game, so... Yeah, yeah, just the dude with the ice pick. Um, really, weirdly enough, there's literally no... There's oh. no monk companion, there's no bard companion, there's no sorcerer companion. Uh, oh. There's only, like, seven companions. They're missing um, um, another one as well. And there's two of the same class, which is really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, there's two druids, which is which is weird. 
That is weird. Um, Marcus, you seem interested in Baldur's Gate three. Yeah. Did you pick it yeah, up? Yeah, I, I mean, no, I haven't. I haven't picked it up, but it's it's like one of the games that's on my list of of things that I really want to get into. Um, mainly because, like, I mean, uh, after just leaving the Shaw, like, I I left my you know had to leave my D and D group, no. or at least my my character my character has gone off on a separate quest. I can come back at <laughs> another time and all those kind of things. But I really I I'm already missing it so much, I and think. so. Just, you know, like when someone's like, oh, just play some Baldur's Gate. I'm like, yeah, you know, and they're just like, no, no, it's really good now. And you really got to play it. I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. And then when I saw videos, I'm like, oh, shit, this looks like fun. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have to read up on some forums first. So I make sure that I know, you know, how to do everything first. I, but, I, uh, I suggest getting Ryan to get it so you guys can play it together. Oh, that would be awesome. You should do it. Then I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait a while because he, he's a busy boy right now, too. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, it, it looks it looks awesome. Like I. And uh, like the most recent time when we were playing, it was the first time I played a cleric, and I really, really liked it. Had a great time as a cleric. Um, yeah, it was good times. I yeah. really want to play again. I miss, I miss, I miss my D and D already. I like buffing people and like healing them. Like I, I like. I used to be a medic in like all the FPS games, like Overwatch yeah. and stuff like that. So for, for me, like like a cleric was a great like happy medium between things like you know I'm, I'm healing people but i also got some pretty badass magic spells and i was able to have like you know armor and weapons it was it was pretty awesome like i was able to have a lot of fun with it i'm so, playing yeah. as a tempest cleric which that's what so, i was so i'm trying to do like melee tank because once per round somebody hits me in melee and i just go you're just gonna take a ton of damage for that <laughs> like you're gonna yep. regret that yep fuck yeah it's really Absolutely. good <laughs> It's it's awesome. I'm I'm always like, who's gonna be the first idiot that attacks me? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, uh, it's a lot I think I'll maximize that damage too by spending my channel yeah. divinity. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dead. Ma Marcus, you also appreciate that the the character creation is very fun to use. Like the oh, first, I love that. The first time I did it, I was like, well, I'm, and don't I've been... make the mistake I made of forgetting to choose your genitals. So I yes. just got stuck with the default genitals. Don't get the default genitals. <laughs> you got to go with like penis D or penis B. Like, yeah, it's just I've, I've, I've. That's the one part of the game that I've actually watched is somebody creating the characters it's... and going like, you can be making <laughs> this, and I'm like, I. Yeah, Come on. yeah okay. <laughs> I got some real gripes <laughs> about why why reptiles have external genitals, but <laughs> nobody seems to care. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes. So that don't gator sporting his lipstick. Don't stream it yeah. at that point, or just show your. You face. can turn it. You can just turn it off. Yeah. It's it and yeah. hide it. Hilarious. That's, um, that's it's hilarious. not like it's that's necessary awesome. for the game. Like you yeah. don't need to see that stuff. <laughs> that it's means, funny. Yeah. That being said, I, I appreciate Larry and they they've been pretty open with their dialogue with people. Um the past like three years it's been out in early access. Um yeah. yeah. And they're 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 constantly putting out bugs and they they have a form about what they're trying to do next, which I like as a developer. They're, right on. Yeah. All right. Let's go over to nice. Brent. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I think I was going to talk about um, Blasphemous 2 today. Is I That is the first game all year. Other, I, actually, that and Pikmin 4. The only two games this year that I picked up and I could not put down until I 100% finished them. I just got Blasphemous um, 2, so I haven't, it's, I haven't it started is, it yet. It's it's just it's it's a damn near perfect Metroidvania game. It is just absolutely wonderful. It's nowhere near the difficulty of the first one, so it's a lot more accessible for newer players because the first mm. one was the first one was hard. Well, it's hard. Yeah, it was it was really bad. Um, I enjoyed it. It's a fun game, but I'm my what's good is more of a what's coming up, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen over here. Is I'm going to my bucket list concert a week from tonight with Jeff. I'm going to see Peter Gabriel finally. This has been the concert <laughs> I have wanted to go to my entire life. I That's love amazing. this man. I love his music. He has never fucking performed in this area when I've had the chance to go. Where's he? Oh, uh, God, I can't wait. Playing? Um, shit. Where? Uh, where's the Leafs play? The Air Canada Center. I think that's it. Fair enough. That's I think awesome. it's in Toronto. I don't know. Uh, You're going to Toronto. Just handling though. all that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just That's handling awesome. all that. I don't really live in That's Toronto. I don't know Toronto very well, oh. but yeah, I'm I'm That's so awesome, fucking man. Oh, I'm man. so fucking excited. Like, I, I believe it's called Scotiabank Arena now. By the is way, is it? 
Oh, it's, hey, it's, 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 it's still Cops Coliseum. It's still Iverwin Stadium. It's yeah, in, I, I did not realize that Iverwin. It's Scotia been Davis. Scotiabank for five years. <laughs> But three of those years don't really count. What's really <laughs> annoying is that I believe the Vancouver Stadium is also a Scotiabank. It's Scotiabank Center, I think. <laughs> that's where the, that's the, the confusing. Play. I don't like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> no, this is he, this this is what September is for me. Is it's like this is like the month of the year that I've been waiting for the whole year because like this is like. I'm going to a Jays game on Saturday and then or Sunday and then immediately afterwards the next day going to see Peter Gabriel and then also this month we've got Lies of Peas coming out which I cannot yeah. wait for. I had, had to spend the extra money to get the early access on Pinocchio it. So Pinocchio born. And that's when like I've taken a month off of streaming now and I announced that my first day back will be the 16th to do I the s- early access for Lies of Peas. So I saw that on your Discord. I'm super excited for that coming out. Um I, I wanted to do a music episode. I was going to do it for tonight, but I just couldn't get around to it. Um, but if there's a Peter Gabriel album you suggest for people to get into. Um, so would be 100% the number one album for everyone to check out. That is probably his most mainstream, his most popular one. Uh, it's probably got a lot of his biggest hits on it. Um, his new album coming out, actually, IO is, is pretty good. Hmm. Um, I haven't listened to a lot of his newer stuff. I'm more a fan of like his older, but he he's been releasing it bit by bit leading up to this tour, and it finally all came out. And I listened to it. And it was, I was like, "Holy shit! This is he's gone a lot more progressive rock now than than he used to." And he's always been like a very experimental artist when it comes to music and and trying new things, trying like new instruments. Like he always wants to do innovation. And with the genre, so and it's always nice to see that, like, even now he's still doing that. I just looked up the track listing for So, and that is a that is an that album. Is a hell of an album. <laughs> yep. Oh man, that's awesome. It, it's his first album in 21 years, and ever mm-hmm. since January 6th, he's been releasing a new song with every full moon. That's cool. That's that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Man, that's cool, man. Um, yeah, you have to let us know how the how the concert is. I, I oh man, I'm gonna see in your eyes live. Yes. Oh. In your eyes. <laughs> the light, the heat. That that and is one like that is a bucket list thing for me. Is is I if I could see the version of that live that he did with the the African tribe, mm. where it was like a 20 minute version of it, and he had them performing the music in all of their native uh, um, instruments. And it is just mind blowing to listen to. And like he had them create their own like lyrics for the song and everything, like for choruses. And like to be at that show would have been unbelievable. See the doorway, a thousand churches, your eyes. Oh man, yes, that would be amazing. Yeah, it's a good song. Uh, like that, in it's in your eyes in Salisbury Hill. They always fluctuate between my number one and number two favorite songs of all time. Oh, yeah. Like they have for 20 years. They have always been. It's it's ask me any day of the week and they might change. But those are always number one and number two in my eyes. So I love it. Nice. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Let's know how the how the show goes. I, oh, we'll do. I love seeing like older uh, acts because they just seem to like. Uh, sometimes it's so refined. Sometimes it depresses. The, the first concert I ever went to, my brother took me to, to Yes. And it was a little yeah. discouraging because when I went to see them, they were all in their like late 50s, early 60s, and they were all wearing like track pants and like <laughs> sweater <laughs> vests. Comfy. And I'm like, this is not what I imagined. <laughs> but they were still <laughs> badass. Oh, they were still fantastic. Yeah, it was yeah. just like. I wasn't expecting, you know, them to be like being wheeled out in wheelchairs, like you know. Yeah. Fair, fair. Well, I mean, I went, I went <laughs> to go see ACDC, and like, you know, like I was just like, I don't know what this is going to be like, and it was incredible. It was a yeah. lot of fun, and like the energy that they had, and yeah. like you know, mm-hmm. they, oh, they, Angus you know, Young is just—he's that guy's going to be t- like fifteen years old for they, life. At one point, like, they they like he started soloing, and they like the entire the rest of the band just looks at each other, and they kind of just look, and they kind of just did the shrug, and they they left, and they just left him on stage for fifteen minutes by himself, and it was yep. 
amazing. Like, like uh, how, how he had the energy to do that 15 minutes, I'll never know. Did, was I, this... think that, I think it'd be hilarious if his inner monologue the whole time was, when the fuck are these guys going to get back? He's <laughs> yeah, soloing until they get back. Um, was that the SARS stock concert? Because I was there for that, if that, if that was the one you're talking about. Uh, what year was that? Uh, was that 2000, was 2003, 2004, I think. When no, was, when it, was the I blackout? This... It was that year. Okay, no, it was after that. It uh, was, uh, 2004, this, I think, yeah. Concert I went to, I think it was 2008, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I saw uh, ACDC high off my mind at um, Sarstock in Toronto. <laughs> I, and I it was, yeah. hated every. It was so good. I, I hated everybody. That, I hated Sarstock. So, because ha- I was working at the Gown and Gavel all the time, and half of the staff in the kitchen all went to go to that. And those of us, the rest of us were told, you can't go because we don't have enough staff for the day. So like we, we cannot allow more than four of you to go. <laughs> so I was the senior most person that did not have a ticket to go to the concert. It was basically um, like, okay, you're going to be running the kitchen. That was literally the busiest night I have ever worked in a restaurant. <laughs> I chits coming out of the machine down to the floor up around my neck three times trying to kill myself like with them and they just machine would not stop all day long and it was 16 a 16 straight hour slam Uh, and then all of those assholes come back from the concert going like oh it was so great and the best fuck you you're working a week by yourself it was amazing (laughs) it was so good um they had this barbecue place that had half a cow like it was cut in half and they were rotisserating and i was sitting there like I was I was so hungry, obviously being high. I was like, I need to eat this cow. <laughs> That's all I can yeah. think of the whole time. I'd be like, I'd be like, where's the other half? They, they, oh, they, yeah, the other half. I'm sure I'm sure they brought it out eventually, but <laughs> the first half was there, and I was like, oh my god, this is the best. Oh thing shit, I've is ever it seen. still walking around? I'm pretty sure that that was real. I don't think I imagined that, but you never know. Um, I love that concert; it was so good. Um, Dave, let's move on to you. What's good, my friend? So I watched uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Yay! Oh and yeah, that's on my list to watch. Too. Was <sighs> so Wait, confused. That's, that's out? Yeah, it's yeah. on digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just yeah. came out oh. like two days ago. Oh shit! I should probably watch it. Um, and I like that movie a lot. <laughs> uh, it's not terrible. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, I like it a lot. Uh, compa- I g- g- okay. Give give me a comparison from that to like from Crystal Skulls to to so Crystal you take Skull that Crystal Skull hand down. So you take yeah. that Crystal well, Skull no, hand sorry. down, sir. It, it was the other way around. Like, I meant, no, sorry. This was supposed to be Crystal Skull. So I want to imagine if each film is like has a bar of quality, but also has you know it makes you feel. Because it's so okay. good, it's so you know evocative or whatever, right? And most people see like Raiders of the Lost Ark, and like this is a perfect movie. Yep, it's perfect. It takes you on a great journey. Then you watch Temple of Doom, and some people like it, some people don't like it. But overall, it's it's still a pretty fun movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you know, Last Crusade is an incredibly fun. It's it's not necessarily a perfect movie, but it is it's, incredibly it's, fun to me. It's one of the it's the most fun movie. Yeah. of the of the three. It, to it's me. the funniest for certainly, right? Yeah. Which is uh, why Kingdom of the Crystal most. Skull is not really funny. It's not. No, it, it's got it's not, whimsy, it's, but it's not really fun. Um, and it's it's kind of it's it doesn't feel as well made as well crafted as the other films. No, and absolutely not. Um, <laughs> he doesn't go Dial into of, any tombs in that one. <laughs> Dial of Destiny just feels like the most neutral Indiana Jones movie you've ever seen. Where it's like, yeah, it's a movie. It's just a movie. Oh. Like it just to me felt like yeah. Like I didn't even I was skipping through parts. I'm like, yeah, I, okay, I understand. They're gonna climb a thing in this scene. Great, nothing's actually gonna happen. Like, there's not there's nothing interesting about this. And like, there you know, of course, there were like really bad callbacks. And I'm like, Ugh. they're not like they don't make you feel good. They make you roll. I mean, for some people maybe, but for me, I was like rolling my eyes. Like that feels so forced. <laughs> Eric, the like, yeah, me. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I did not. I don't. I don't think it's you know. Please it's tell like me that the movie kept... opens with this little sign that says Shia LaBeouf died on his way back to his home planet. He died in the Vietnam War, actually. Yeah. Oh, good. That's, that's, that's the plot. I'll take <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. And it's a huge yeah. plot point in the movie. I actually think that's point. that's one of the things they do actually really well. Yeah. Actually, regarding that. They explain right? his his, his, yeah. his death and yeah. his marriage to Marion. And, and how it affects Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, that's a huge it's, it's really like his son's dead, right? Like that really fucks up an old man. And he left because of Indy. He went to the war because of him. Yeah. 
It's not. It's actually. Wait. It's one of the best parts of the movie. Maybe yeah. is that <laughs> that that emotion yeah. that you get from that. Everything else was kind of like whatever. Because uh, a lot of the time I'm like, why he doesn't even care? Why is he here? Um. So <laughs> that was like that was like the okay. But then I also because I've been off finally for like two and a half weeks uh, from school and work, and uh, I watched all of Solar Opposites. Yeah, are you? Because I've just up been like trying to consume most everything. Yeah, I think the current season's done. Did Maybe it finish? No more oh shit! I watched. I, I, I watched the... eleven episodes. So oh shit! Um, that show it could just be another Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> it really is just a lot like Rick and Morty. But the, yeah, the last season, I there's it's not. I didn't love it, but it it's funny enough. Like I didn't, I didn't turn it off. I just kept you know getting through it. Um, <laughs> but it's it's enjoyable. Like if you want something. On the side, I don't think you have to pay I, a ton of attention to it. I has, love. Has I anybody like watched the, all the new Futurama yet? New yes, Futurama the new Futurama is, good. Drama I, uh, is yes, yes. excellent. I've, I was going to get to that the, next. I watched the first episode and I I enjoyed it. I haven't. I was waiting until it's all done. I don't know if it's finished yet. It's so. not. No. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I want to wait till it's all done and I binge it. So. Finally, saw the Dune episode and I died. It was so funny. Yeah. Um, oh, I haven't seen that one yet. The Solar episodes. It's episode I, three, I think. I liked um, Dan Stevens is. Um, uh, he's a it. much better Corvo, yeah, than I, Justin because Justin Roiland as Corvo was just I was like that sounds that's just Rick. It's it just, is Rick just Rick voice. It's Rick without burping. Like it just. And then uh, so many side characters he do. I'm like that's just a Rick and Morty bit, basically. Yeah. Like it's the same thing. It's just Dan the Stevens same show so on a different good. channel. Yeah. And then <laughs> when Dan Stevens came in, I'm like that's the right voice for this he's, asshole. He's so fucking good. Like he that's deserves phenomenal. so much more recognition than he gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It makes me actually consider watching Legion, which I don't know. I hear it's good, but I'm like, it's still I, I love, a really Fox like TV Legion. show. I really like Legion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the one I always recommend for people to watch is uh, is um, the Beauty guest. The oh. No, the guest. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Not I forgot you in that, Eric. <laughs> You know what? No, though? it was. Now that it was made him, he does make a good like Prince it's Eric hmm. or whatever the fuck his name is in Beauty and Beauty. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, the guest no, was. Uh, yeah, done by the same guys who did uh, Your Next. It was their follow up movie to that, which was like their oh. take on eighties action movies. I really like Your oh, okay. Next, yeah. actually. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so he, yeah, so Dan Stevens is the lead in it, and he is fucking phenomenal in that movie. He was also really when good in Eurovision. If you've seen Eurovision, yes. Yes, he was fantastic. Uh, what, Brent, when did that come out? Uh, 2014. 2014, I think, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to have to check it out. Hmm. Your Next was... I remember when that came out, it was really good. Yeah. 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 Like Your Next too. is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. Like, he was really good in Legion, I have to say. Like, he, I, lo I honestly really like... like Legion for being a, a kind of a standalone version of the you know mutant... <laughs> world excellent world whatever i thought it was awesome and yeah. i kind of wish that they had incorporated like a real x-men vibe to everything as well just mm -hmm. to see what that would look like in that world but i as a standalone series it's fantastic it's great i like that they started doing like multi-universe star stuff in it and i was really hoping that they would um actually bring in the x-men because I I thought yeah. that that would honestly like that. I was wait I was waiting for like Deadpool to just pop his head in there or something weird shit like I don't even know but like I really liked it and I mean L Legion is one of the most powerful mutants of all time and it's just kind of cool to think like you know here it is we're just seeing like this weird iteration of the whole thing and I really wanted to see more. Wasn't there another uh, like X Men -y TV show at the same the time? Gifted. Yes. Which uh, one? The Gifted. The Gifted. That was like the Children of X Men. That was not a good show. I don't think I even saw that or heard of that. That's fair. Didn't it have it had Amy Acker and it had Vampire Bill from True Blood? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> um, also, Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger that was good. That lasted a year. Yeah. yeah. So, so Runaways Cloak was good yeah, too. I think I feel like Cloak what Dagger happened was... with Cloak and Dagger though? Was that just like, did it just fall short on it the was, production side, or it was on a Disney station that no one had? I think it was like Disney XD. So they're just like, I guess no one's gonna watch it um, because no one had that channel. And then they crossed yeah. them over onto um, Runaways, which was on AMC, I think. And they were just like, no. this is how they should feel like. And they used the same actors, 
Like it was a cross, yeah. like a full on crossover. And I was like, fuck, they could have just done this for the TV show. It would have been good. Runaways was <laughs> unfortunately good. There's and, so many wasted things, yeah. like, you know, the Inhumans. Paper Girls oh. Oh. was wasted. <laughs> oh, man. I, but like, I, we, I, we have I really an amazing enjoy, cast. We're going to just I re- totally I really fuck did this enjoy up. Um, Black Bolt redemption in in the Doctor Strange movie yeah. like that at least was even though it was you know his death was the stupidest fucking thing but yeah. I I did like the fact that like you know they put him in the suit they had him there I'm like oh that's good he, yeah. I, you know give give him a, at least one last moment of of righteousness Anson Mount is super nice I met him at Fan Expo um, Katiri has been uh, a real has been a big fan of Strange New Worlds the last the the most recent season especially the musical episode. We've listened to the musical episode every single day since I we watched it the first day. Every single day. Like <laughs> and it's crazy. So I, I I ended up getting the poster, the the musical poster, and Anson Mount signed it. Um and Ethan nice. both signed it. So it's hanging in her room now and she's like, Fuck yeah. She didn't say fuck yeah. That's awesome. Like, That's the <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um actually this is <laughs> After all these years, Marcus, you'll appreciate this. I've been like, I've been like, you know what? You should do some music lessons. You should do some theater. And she's like, ah, I've seen you do stuff. That's cool. <laughs> she's like, I, I like musicals and stuff, but I don't know if I'm. She sees this musical, this A Strange New Worlds musical, and she's like, I want to do musical theater lessons. It's like, sure, we'll, we'll do it. We're definitely. So, so we're starting this week on Thursday. She has her first one. And I was like. I hope she has dreams of bringing like a real life Star Trek musical to to the stage or something. That would be amazing. I'd be like that. <laughs> that's fair. I'm also Hell yeah. So she's been really into musicals as well. Like we've been listening to Six the musical, um, yeah, forever, and we're taking her to see it in November for her birthday. Yeah. I feel nice. like if Rogers the musical has done so much in the MCU, why they should just make it real? They do have yeah. It. It's in it's in uh it's in the the California Disney. I don't know. What's yeah, like, no, but is, it should be on like is Broadway. It a full show. It's hmm. it's is only it like it, a full show. It's only like an hour, but um, or forty five minutes That's to pretty. an hour. No, I think we need like a full like hour. A two long. hour one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> special, um, it's it's on YouTube if you want to search it up. Um, so you can watch it in four K. It's it's um, <laughs> it's cool. it's interesting what they um, because it's from a certain point of view, which I I really appreciate. So they omit stuff and. Um, and they have Ant Man in there, even though it's not supposed to be. Exactly, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed it. It was funny. It was cheesy. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Nice. Um, <laughs> Marcus, oh wait, Dave, were you done yeah. with your? Yeah, good? we yeah, we ended up yeah we t- you know, solar opposites and then uh, Futurama. It's yeah. great. And Indiana Jones. So I wanted to like and work my way up to things that are like better and better. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. And I guess uh, Rick and Morty is back in like a month. So, is it? Oh, yeah. cool. That should be interesting. Did what, you hit what, mute and a chill like, filled the room? Like yeah. I hit mute. Eric? Um so <laughs> apparently uh they haven't said anything about uh Rick's voice yet. So um like who's replacing him? So. Rick's voice, Morty's voice, like ninety yeah. percent of the you know, side characters. I know people who have auditioned for um the Rick voice. Like they're they're asking for voice matches. So I don't know if I'm I kinda I would prefer that. that they did what they did with like they brought in Dan Stevens as Corvo. They should like just go in a totally different direction for Rick and have them shoot the voice. Again. Be like, yeah, yeah, that's my voice now. Yeah. yeah. Even flash and flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's gonna hit puberty eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair. Um All right. Marcus, bring us home. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean uh one thing that's uh, that's just good in my world is uh, my little um, workshop in the backyard is finally getting power. Uh, we we just ran power this weekend, dug a trench, like you know, did all the wiring and everything out there, and uh, so I'm really close to it being done. Uh, by next weekend, it should be all set up, and I can actually have internet out there. I can have a TV out there. I can have a bunch of stuff. So it's going to be eighty like percent workshop, twenty percent man cave, and I'm just really looking forward to it. Nice. So that's that's a really good one, and then uh, I'm really enjoying uh, Ahsoka so far. Really, really liking that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 been good. Like I mean, considering a lot of other stuff, that's I really didn't like Secret Wars. I didn't like oh, you know, there's it, it, you Secret know, Invasion was terrible. Or Secret, yeah, Secret Invasion. Like like I did I did not like 
I don't, I don't like a lot of what Disney is being is like trying to push out right now. Uh, but Ahsoka was like, oh no, no, this is good. I actually, I enjoy it. I don't know where it's going to end up, but I really do like what they're doing so far. They're going to Valhalla. Uh, That's yeah, uh, basically. But- <laughs> <laughs> Because everybody um, knows about Hala now. Well, like, Norse mythology is so popular right now, it made its way into Star Wars. It's like, been in Star Wars for <laughs> years, though. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, did you see uh, that? Uh, I, I posted a picture of um the... So the end sequence, everyone was like, oh, I wonder what it says. And someone translated it. So where all the planets and everything are and all the hints in that, it's it's it, it's insane. One of the things is Odin. O-D-Y-N. I was like... Huh. Huh. I see. <laughs> okay. Probably just a regular planet in Star Wars. It's in, um, it, 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 Valhalla's and everything. So I get two games right now that I'm playing where it's turned up in. I've uh, been playing Tiny Thor, which that check that game out. It's oh my god, it's so much fun. Um, <laughs> and then there's a game coming out uh, in two weeks called Summa Materna, which I've been I've had the early access for the past year, and I'm like it's coming out soon. I might as well like jump back into it and start replaying it again, see how I think of it. And all of a sudden, there's like new levels, and I'm like, why does this level look so familiar? And all of a sudden, oh, I'm fighting Valkyries as a boss, and there's Odin. And I'm like, why is it every game now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Everything. it's that kind of thing where it's like it's great, it's popular, everybody wants a piece of it, but then yeah. you, you oversaturate the market, and then it's like, okay, this is too much. It's too yeah. much. <laughs> Everybody's got to do like well, it was zombies, and then it was vampires, right? Yeah, and exactly. We're just, apparently, we're in the Norse mythology. We're, we're in the Norse mythology. Well, actually, I just finished watching um, on Netflix the the show Ragnarok, mm. um, which was is that like, the comedy it, it, sort of. No, one? no, it's not. It's, it's not a comedy. It's um. It's the comedy. Oh, that's uh, you're thinking of Northman, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Northman was Northman's great. Uh, but no, Ragnarok is. Uh, I believe it's all um uh Nor- norwegian actors um but it was really good like i i i watched both this i tried to watch a few subtitle ones and i've tried to watch a few of the sub of the dub ones uh i prefer the subtitle ones because it just feels more authentic but sometimes i'm just too tired to read so i just put on the dubs <laughs> yeah and uh but like it's it was an interesting show because it's all about like you know uh, this kid kind of be- gets imbued with the powers of thor and then like there's other norse gods throughout and he's there to fight some giants but then at the end it's one of those things at the very end you get to a point where it's like okay well what's real what isn't real how much was this how much of this actually happened how much of it is just like some kind of fantasy or is it all real was any of it fantasy like it's just this kind of weird nebulous ending but it was a good show i did enjoy that so that was all that's there that's another little good and uh, also, I finally saw because I've been dragging my feet on it for the longest time. Was uh, uh, what's it called Spider Man? Uh, yes, Cross Spider Verse. Oh, I'm just. I feel bad. Cross. I'm still dragging my feet on that. Like, okay, uh, Into the Spider Verse was fantastic, amazing movie. This one, I, there was just so much, so much that was given to us, and I was just, I loved, I loved the art. So much amazing art style going on in there. The music was fantastic. I love where the story is going. Uh, the only thing that I, I hated was just like I wasn't ready for for the cliffhanger ending. Like I wasn't ready for like okay, and part two is done. I'm like no, 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 no. Yep. And that movie's on hold right now. So yeah. So maybe I won't watch it yet. Then. Yeah, hold off, Brent, because you'll yeah. just be like. Eh. Has anyone hurt. else seen? It? Has anyone else watched Mutant Mayhem yet? Which, yes, uh, I believe that's out on I my saw it in, too. It's also out, yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy, phenomenal. It it's like phenomenal. It, just so good. it was so much fun. The the new Ninja uh, Turtles. I took Kateri to it. Um, it's her first yeah. 3D movie. It was her first 3D movie in theaters, so she got to wear the glasses. And it was astounding. Like I felt like I was eight again. Like like just watching I, Ninja Turtles. It was amazing. I did the I did the D box and I had a bunch of uh like two women with like five kids sitting right behind me who like wouldn't shut up the whole time. Oh. Um until they came over and like they were like fascinated like watching my seat move. And at one point I just like got up and let each of the kids have a turn in That's the seat adorable. so they could like go ride around it and everything like that. And they were like, This is awesome, this is awesome. And the parents were like, what the hell is that anyway? I go, it's, oh, it's like an extra like five bucks and it's like a ride, and, you know, it moves along with the movie. And they're like, we're doing that next time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, uh, I thought for Kateri, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe we'll just do 3D. We can't do both of it at the same time. It'd just be like too much. <laughs> you yeah. just like explode. Um, to go back on the, the Ragnarok thing. Sorry. I, I wanted to add something to Marcus. Yeah. Um, have you seen the Almighty Johnsons? It's, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
I was gonna say if you like that type of thing, you'd you'd appreciate that show. I, I, I did. No, I, I like the Almighty Johnsons. That was great. Oh, I wish um, they did more. Yes, yeah, for sure. Um there's a, like there's a couple things I've seen that are like like I, I don't even know what you would call that genre of, of show now, or like it's just kind of a modern mythology type thing. Yeah, like I mean American Gods was sort of like that. You know, like that. It was sort of like that, but I mean, like American Gods was already a, a, a I don't know, it was already a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just really, I always like that kind of stuff. It's just like, uh, how do we bring it into the real world? But the, again, the problem I'm having is like, I don't want it to get so oversaturated to the point where I can't watch this shit anymore. That's fair. So, I, I, I at this point, you know, I hope we can all just take a break from it. Maybe revisit this sort of idea in ten years. <laughs> you know, that'd be good. Fair. I'd be okay with that, uh, but it was. But it, either way, I really enjoyed it. Loved. Uh, so those things have all been freaking awesome. I I have not played any video games for a long time. I really, actually, today was the first time I turned on my PlayStation Four in four years, I think. And I turned it on because uh, my son wanted to play um, N sixty four. We have an N sixty four set up on, on the upstairs TV, and usually I'm like, yeah, man, play play some Mario, play some Diddy Kong Racing. Um, but, uh, the little baby's walking, crawling around. She loves to grab the cables and, you know, bite into that. stuff. So I thought it'd be better if we gave him a, you know, a controller with, with no wires. So I was like, oh, but maybe now's the time to introduce him to the PS4. So we turned on the PS4. I had him playing, um, Lego city undercover or whatever, yeah. or Lego undercover city or whatever that is. Uh, cause I figured, you know, he can't, he can't do any damage and he's just going to run around <laughs> and have some fun and play some stuff. But it was kind of cool. It was like the you know first time to turn it on, so you know uh, about a half an hour of updates before I could actually play anything. <laughs> and no, this is all part of the game. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's oh no, no, buddy, this is good. Trust me. We're playing bureaucracy. <laughs> the um, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but on Netflix, they just released a live action version of One Piece. Um, that which is like oh yeah, an anime. I from I way back. so because I watched uh, Cowboy Bebop and I didn't care for it. I just assumed One Piece was going to be the same thing, but I've been hearing it's really good. <laughs> it's so good. I like because I, I I saw Cowboy Bebop and was like it's all right. You know, it's not as good as the animated one, but it was like it was all right. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I'm watching One Piece. And I'm like this is fucking amazing, and I was like I don't know. I'm just saying the the I have one gripe. And that is that they didn't yeah. use the theme song from the animated show. And I've only seen like the first season of the animated show, um, but it feels like it. And it's like, I, I love all the actors they have for these characters. I, I think it's amazing. Um, although, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. It's fine. I, I, I think I will. Like that's going to be one of those things that I, because I remember I started watching the actual anime a couple years back when it, because people were like, I, I was a big Dragon Ball Z mm -hmm. person and everything growing up. So when people were comparing, like um, comparing Luffy to, to like fighting like Goku, I'm like, really, is this a thing? So I started watching and uh, I actually really liked the, the really liked the show. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Luffy really feels like young Goku. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like he, he's, it's that kind of like, let's go. <laughs> And like just like no like no fear no just like loves the world and what, what the they're innocence doing. the naivety kind of th part of it you know but also like the bring it on let's fight let's keep doing <laughs> like it's just kind of it's just kind of fun uh so uh, yeah i actually kind of want to see the show now you gotta see your you gotta say the name of your final move that's how it works i was like oh my god yeah so that's hilarious. how it works yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. any other one any other things you guys want to bring up good things bad things i see ray stevens oh. behind dave i i'm i'm <laughs> very i'm very excited for um for spider-man 2 yep uh yep. it looks so like no matter what i'm doing in my in my life at this, i'm going to have to yeah. drop everything and play yeah uh, that'll be a review it just from looks, us for sure like yeah it looks too good it looks way too good did you get the regular so, edition or collector's edition it's regular edition. I got the collector's yeah. for that. Did, one. did you get the collector's edition? Yeah, I don't so wait, like. What, what's what's I'm what is, not what's a in it? But I didn't edition actually. For once. It's a it's a it's a statue again. Like I love the first seventeen yeah. inch. The Venom first one was statue. great. I I I have my first one over on right. the shelf back this there. Guy? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, love I have it always on my desk. Um, so the Venom. Wait, and what is this? 
It's Venom and Spider Man, I think, right? Oh shit! Is it? Then maybe. How much was it? Two hundred something. <laughs> Uh, That's actually not that bad. It might be three hundred. Well, it's usually three hundred now. <laughs> the U.S. I mean, new video games are ninety dollars Canadian, right? Yeah, so, you're, if you're really only paying oh, it's three hundred dollars, Eric, that's a three hundred dollar. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, the, the, you know why I didn't end up pretty... getting the Baldur's Gate three collector's edition because I wanted that Drow statue. Oh uh, yeah, it looks so good. Lithid, and I wanted the Final Fantasy sixteen, you know, with Ifrit and Phoenix fighting, but like they're just. See, it's a giant like it. statue of Venom and for, then for Miles and Spider-Man fighting him. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, my, my problem is, Eric, and maybe you like at this point, like I have a large scale resin printer. I can print really good large scale statues. Yeah. I mean, you've seen you saw my my Revan, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, like, you know, this is super detailed. It's it's large scale. I mean, I can just print them. Yeah. So I'll wait for somebody to have a file of something like that or something with venom, and I'll just I'll just print that. That's I have right. a couple of venom. That's um, like this, right? Statues anyway, <laughs> where I can be like mm. I can print these things in high res and then paint it. Um, yeah, but um, I don't know. I just Insomniac is one of those people I I like supporting, mm. and I I mean their their games their the, the Spider Man series. I think they really make extra money. They, they don't. You buy. Yeah. <laughs> I do I do <laughs> like the stuff that comes with it, and you know I. Out of any, I, game, think it's, I think there's nothing wrong with getting like one or two of those a year. I don't even get them one a year. A year? Like, I get them oh, once. Yeah, I'm behind. Think... I'm way behind. <laughs> the last, the last special edition I got was The Last of Us Two, and that was for PS4. Oh, yeah. That was a, a number of years ago. I, I mean, if I got was, was if, the, if I was able to, I would have shelled out for the Ragnarok one. But that I is get like one. that was the one I knew I couldn't pass that up. I yeah. I needed it. I really wanted to get the Jotner edition, but unfortunately, that one was. Long gone, so, really quick. Yeah. I'm thinking about printing yeah. off one of those uh, yeah. Mjolnir's from that uh, game. I, I see from uh, from online. from Ragnarok. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, man. Like it's it's just holding it feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fully solid. We're talking American about print. we're talking about the hammer, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> um, I I don't know if we're gonna be getting a review copy for Spider Man Two, so we might be playing it early. Um, I'll let you guys know. Um, what oh, happened? please do. Wait, he'll let what? us know after he's beaten it. <laughs> hey, he's not going to be able to log on because I'm going to be on there. The one thing I have an issue with for the special edition is that there's no disc that comes with it. You get a download code. I yeah. I well, what? I had the steel book. You get the steel book and a download Wait. code. Why do I need a steel book if I don't have the disc? <laughs> <laughs> the only game we got a disc for with that came with a steel book, right? Was uh, Final Fantasy sixteen. Yeah, like even yep. that collector's edition. But like Baldur's Gate didn't come with a disc. It just, I just don't a understand code. it. it makes Starfield just the code. Like, oh yeah, I'm playing Starfield soon. That's uh, gonna be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I have no it makes me just want to play Starfield No Man's Sky. Like we could just play No Man's Sky, and that's co-op. Yeah, you know, and it just had a, it's had so many updates over I, the years. Like, oh my god, I went back and played it. Like, a little I hear it's while really back. good now. It's fucking incredible now. Yeah. Like, what the? F- where was this game? Shouse like, is still playing. It. Well, it's had like eight years of development. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's true. But you because know what? Hello Games I, only even, made one even, other game since then. Even though it's incredibly late, I am so thankful that they stuck with it and actually did it because, like, now it's actually a really cool game, and like, yeah. I'm actually able to pop back in. You know, there's there's no pressure to it. You just hop back in, check out a few planets, fight a few fucking space pirates do a couple things like it's pretty damn cool and like the creatures the generation now is just insane comparatively to where it started <laughs> not I, the 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 recorder jurassic uh park theme thing. yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah, Dave, i cut you off no it's okay uh <laughs> i guess like I've, I've been thinking about no man's sky for a while but i we have a bunch of people kind of on the hook for conan exiles Oh my god! I have and Harcroft just fixed the server and stuff like that. So I'm like, <gasps> I I have the game, but I've never played it. Well, maybe it's time we finally play. Like I'm not gonna have a ton of time. Oh, Conan but I'm like, uh, yeah, Conan Exiles. I played really it. Good. I played it enough to get the platinum. I had someone walk me through how to do. The oh no, we'll be on PC, on it. Like, not on, no, okay. not on. <laughs> I have it on PlayStation. Steam, yeah, it's it's way better on PC because you can customize a lot more things. More penis. Mm. More more <laughs> dong. More you can hang way more dong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, like running a server, you can customize things. You can increase the day night cycle. You can make things craft faster, all kinds of stuff. It, it's much more convenient. You don't have to eat every two seconds. 
Um, <laughs> because we're also in a, like a Valheim lull dicks, dicks, as well. Dicks, we fit, dicks. Yeah. We got Baldur's Gate and we got Conan Exiles. We got all the dicks we need. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's, at least there's a slider. Like like Baldur's Gate just has like choose, yeah. but like Conan Exiles has a slider. <laughs> You know, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm getting worried. <laughs> I'm getting worried for you. Oh, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over. Yeah, yeah. yeah tell me when. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like that's from a movie somewhere. It's from New Girl. Oh, is it? Oh. Where Schmidt, Schmidt. I think it's Schmidt. He's like, he's like, I, you know. No. And no. then he's like, he's like, no, I'm starting over. I'm, I'm worried for you. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. That's it. We're good. We're done. This is a short yeah. episode. It's good. Um, oh, nice. So this this episode was recorded during the W um, WGA and uh, actor Sega. strike. Sag actor strike. Um, so you know, support your writers. Support your actors. Uh, they deserve a living wage. Um, these people deserve you know to be paid for their art. And the people at the top of these companies don't need another gold plated helicopter, right? Um, that's not something well, you don't know. It's that. a really efficient way to make a helicopter, I mean, frankly. Exactly. Yeah. They don't need a landing pad. You're on their... not them. You don't know what they need. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> they don't need <laughs> anything. They're <laughs> filthy fucking rich. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I, I, I'm debating whether we, we talk about any struck work moving forward. I don't think we should. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about it off stream. That would just be like movies and things. We, we're not really talking about Ahsoka. I mean, What's, but nothing should be say? coming. At, oh, I guess. Yeah. We'll we'll see we'll see how the strike's going, but uh, we'll, we'll I think we're pretty much in video game time right now anyway till the end of the year. Well, video uh, games. Spider Man is going to take up a lot of. <laughs> was just announced is that video I, games will now be there. They they've they've sent the option to strike. Um, the, I see. They, the, they have not decided yet. Um, yeah, we'll find Luckily, out. The most of the best games recently are all like more indie titles mm-hmm. and uh, usually don't have. They're not in union because they're so small they can't even afford. Fair, yeah. Like a game like Deep Rock, the the voice is the people who make the game, right? They make the music, they they write the code, so they don't. Molly, yeah, Molly. <laughs> That's actually like I thought that was kind of funny too, is uh, because um I mentioned before that uh, that YouTube page Dead Meat, the one that does like the kill counts and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, since the two of them who host the shows on that are both um SAG uh, actors. Um, they basically are like in support of it. They're not going to do any more features on any like um, SAG movies or anything or any kind of like movie in that that falls into it. Yeah. So they've decided what they're going to do now is they're going to do their entire shift, their entire focus of their website to video games until nice. the uh, strike is over. Yeah. I think so that... the next series of Kill Counts is apparently going to be the Dang and Rampa series. Oh, nice. I'm, sorry, I'm excited Those about games that. Are great. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that that's that's it. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, David. Thank you, Marcus. It's good chatting with you. It's been a while. Um, and I liked yeah, hearing what you guys are enjoying right now. That's that's awesome. I'm also enjoying my resin printer. I don't know if I said that earlier, but yeah. Just let I'm the always smell. enjoying the printers. No, no, I love that's why it's in a different area of the house. Resin printer, you go outside. Um, yeah. Yes. Anyway, thank you guys for coming. Thank you out there for listening. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Later. Later. Well, that's it for us this week on Geeks with Kids. If you want to get a hold of us, you can send us an email at podcast at geekswithkids.ca. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash geekswithkids. Follow us on Twitter at geekswithkidscn. Check out our pics on Instagram at geekswithkids. And you can find all of this good stuff on our website at www.geekswithkids.ca. So if you like what you hear, why don't you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. This podcast can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, YouTube, and your favorite podcasting app. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.